as helping ladies get their hair right. Is she right. the one responsible Is for she this? she the one responsible for my hair and my the color? The red with the copper highlights. Absolutely. Shout out to you. Look at that. The red with the copper highlights. Stephanie, thank you for hooking it up. So we're excited to have her. fantastic. She's going to be, this is an installation. She's going to be going over um, different hair options, wigs, hair for career and business. So styling for success yes. is another. And it's so important. So important. Having that right look. Because a lot of people, I mean, Instagram, bless it, has, yes. and YouTube has really helped a lot of people. But I see girls who come in for interviews wear full face contour and highlight. I'm like, that's a night look. Yeah. You got to know your looks. Yes. You know, you have to know what, if you're to go sit across a table with an older group of men and your face is beaming, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit, you know, it's, I love highlighter, but there's, it's a little much. Sometimes. It's a little much sometimes. No, know the appropriate time and places for the appropriate look. So we're excited for that workshop with uh, Stephanie from the studio um, 1031. And then there's also the pitch contest. Why don't you tell <gasps> us about the pitch? I'm, I'm always so excited to talk about yes. the pitch contest. So we have been so fortunate to partner with HSN American Dreams, Lily Jill Valletta, who is one of their star entrepreneurs. She goes alongside with Damien John in the HSN uh, family where they go to events such as the Women on the Rise Farm and Expo and allow people with a product to pitch to HSN for an opportunity to have their product on the HSN platform and seen by 90 million households. I didn't even know it was that many. 90 million households tune in to HSN uh, platform, whether it's their website or their, um, their on-air show. That's amazing. It's exciting. That's very exciting. 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 So to, to pitch your product, we ask that you go onto our website, find out the details. You'll find out what types of products they generally um, like to look at. But I do recommend that you do take a look at the website. Absolutely, which we will do. We'll definitely uh, come back after the break. We'll take a quick break. But when we come back, we'll give a little more details about the pitch contest because I know a lot of you are going to want to get in on that. Stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. So, Marsha, how did you decide to add the pitch element, and how was it received when you decided to bring in the contest element? It is. It has been well received. Well, last year at the fourth um, uh, annual, we brought in the Women on the Rise pitch, and that was a huge success. Mm -hmm. We had uh, three finalists that were able to pitch their business live in front of a live studio um, <laughs> studio audience in front of our judges which gave them um, feedback in front of all of the guests that were there so all of the guests were so encouraged by watching the pitch and was like I definitely have to get myself together with my business yes. so I could start pitching to other businesses right or to other um, investors so we did that last year and Last year, I was fortunate enough to meet um, and to pitch myself and to pitch my business to HSN American Dreams. And from that event, uh, I met Lily. She was there um, judging the pitches. Mm -hmm. And I just continued to show up wherever her and her organization were having um, workshops. I would go down to the um, Google headquarters to have to participate in workshops. And she was always around and she always remembered me thankfully and one day we were talking and I was telling her all about the conference mm -hmm. and she offered and was like why don't I come do the pitch event at your conference I was like yes we would love that <clears throat> and I know so many people have been so thankful for the opportunity it's even it, whether you get picked up by HSN or not the opportunity is greater than that and just going through that I think that process going through that drill yeah absolutely it helps so, me so much because it helps you 
be on point. You have to work on your ele- elevator pitch. Absolutely. You have to be able to, you've got 30 seconds Absolutely. to speak. And no one's going to know your business better than you. Right. And it helps you understand uh, business a lot more because you really need to know your numbers. Part of pitching, because so you say your, your two-minute pitch, but then they start to ask you those Shark Tank questions. Not so shark tanky, but they'll ask you questions about your finances, about where you're distributing now, how you're selling, and you really need to know those numbers in order for you to successfully one day get yourself in front of an investor. When it, you're, you're in business not for a hobby, right? You're in business not to stay stagnant. You're in business because you want to be a millionaire, because you want to be up there mm-hmm. as an entrepreneur, as a business, you want to be the next big thing. So in order to do that, it's so important that you do understand every element of your business so that you can pitch it. You never know. Absolutely. You never. On vacation, I pitch my company. Because work, your, your grind never stops. It never stops. Yeah. Especially if you're on vacation, you might be meeting. You can meet somebody on the you plane. Have no, you have no idea. It's on the plane. I've heard many successful plane stories of um, meeting new um, investors or collaborate, collaborative yeah. uh, relationships. So it's so important that you are able to articulate what you do and for who you do it. At least know your pitch, your core numbers. I yep. think that would be the key takeaways. Absolutely. If you know just those few elements, you know, your your one main sentence Absolutely. about the company or about whatever you're trying to put out there. Yes. And a couple of numbers, so, because remember these money people, you're essentially asking for them to front you, so. Exactly. Why should they? Exactly. You got, you got to deliver the why. Yes. Another great workshop we're doing, it, it sort of um, to bring home the, the pitch and the product, having a product is, service-based companies are awesome. Product-based companies is where the wealth really begins, right? If you get to have a product that you create and get it into retail, that is everything. That's what we're all seeking, right? Those, um, as you see on Shark Tank, those um, licensing deals, those retail deals. So we have a, um, if you have an idea and you haven't brought it to market yet, and you just been sitting on this idea, and you know when every time you have an idea, the next week you see mm-hmm. you see it on the shelf, or you see a commercial for it, and you're like, I thought about that, and but you didn't execute it. Right. You still can birth that that idea. Just twist it. There's a t- a thousand tires out there. Very true. There's not just one tire, right? And another person who I love to highlight, Vera Moore, our, our New York success oh my story, God. right here. You know where she's now in Walgreens and. Absolutely. nationwide. We're so excited to have Ms. Vera Moore of Vera Moore Cosmetics, one of the first um, skincare lines or makeup lines for brown women, women of color. She produced this many years ago as she was an actress working on a daytime soap opera and she was getting like the wrong shades. The put wrong on. shades of makeup put on. And so she decided to start her own makeup company. Right? And she has been able to be alive and rebirth Fear More Cosmetics in the last five years. And so fortunate enough to have her sit with us during a um, our fireside chat. Yes. We're so excited to have Vera. She's going to share with you her journey through entrepreneurship using the the need she found it was from a need it wasn't because those are the best kind those are the best kinds look at the things around you look at the things that are in your life and create a way to make it better for you and that's exactly what vera did and she's going to be there as our celebrity fireside chat um lunchtime chat on saturday so we're excited to talk to her absolutely now how do they get tickets how do they register all that good stuff you can get tickets of register and for more information you can go to our website at www.womenontherise.ny.com that's awesome um marcia i'm just so excited because this conference i mean sh- shout outs to my dear friend sharon lee you know who sharon she is the mom boss the PR every, extraordinaire. Listen, everything. Everything in She one. will be sitting on our media panel. So one of the panels we I talked about that I'm so excited to bring to this conference space is a media panel to really talk to the audience about 
it, for your career and business. It's not just for business. For your career, too, you can leverage media. To become an expert in your industry. Become an mm -hmm. expert in your field. Have those big companies, like, calling you for bigger promotions and that C-suite spot that you've been looking for. You do that leveraging media. And what we want to have a conversation about is how to market yourself to the right markets. Everyone dreams of being on the O Network or, you know, back then on the Oprah show or mm -hmm. now Steve Harvey, Ellen, Good Morning America, all the big names. But let's talk about the uh, outlets the attainable. you can start. The attainable yeah. outlets. Where you are today in your career. And think big, but start small. Absolutely, Marsha. It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Love it. So definitely go ahead, check that out. The information is all at the bottom of the screen. We're so excited, and it's going to be amazing. So we'll have you back again because you know we gotta got to give us a f feedback on that. Yes. So we'll have you back again. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. I'm your host, Lydia Patel. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be back again next week. Same time, same place you're watching. Beyond Focus TV, stay with us. Beyond Focus TV show wants and needs your feedback. Did we blunder? Please let us know so we can improve. Was the show helpful to you? Drop us a note so we can share the success with our staff members. Is there something you think we could do better? We welcome new ideas and new approaches to old ideas. Do you have a great suggestion? Let us know and we'll work on it. If you would like to share your comments anonymously, please send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. If you want to get in touch with the executive producer directly, send him an email at gene at beyondfocusmedia.com. We really look forward to hearing from you.